Hello and welcome to the Robo Forex channel. Today we'll compare three different markets, the Forex market, the stock market, and the commodity market, and specify their key differences and advantages. The key difference between these markets is, of course, the assets that we trade there. Forex is a platform for buying and selling currencies. The stock market is a place where we trade stocks and shares, while the commodity market allows us to invest in gold, silver, oil, and other commodities. All these instruments, whether they are currencies, stocks, or commodities, have their own distinctive features. First of all, the choice of an asset depends on what you'd like to trade. There are several factors that should be considered when choosing a market. Trading time. If we take a look at the Forex market, it offers you to trade 24-5. The same can be said about the commodity market, such assets as oil and gold can also be traded day and night except for weekends. Such a schedule provides traders with huge opportunities but also creates great risks as it's difficult to succeed in following everything that is happening in the market. The securities market is a little bit different because the trading schedule is limited by the operating hours of a stock exchange where stocks are quoted. Market factors. These are the factors that make a certain market move one way or another. All three markets are influenced by demand and supply, but there are other factors that may force them to rise or fall. When trading stocks, one should focus on companies' financial performance, including their profit, development prospects of their products and services. One should also consider economic data, the latest news, financial reports, and the overall situation on the market at the moment. As for currency prices, they are influenced by a much greater number of factors, for example the macroeconomics of a country. Such things as the unemployment rate, inflation, gross domestic product, and other news and political events are very important for the Forex market. Since we're buying one currency while selling the other, we need to know about the economies of both countries as much as possible. The commodity market may be influenced by weather conditions, geopolitics, inflation, currency rate fluctuations, and monetary policies of global central banks. Liquidity Liquidity is the ease with which an asset or security can be sold at the price closest to the market price. The more traders, the more money flows through the market. That makes the process of looking for a buyer or a seller much faster. Forex is the largest and most popular market in the financial world, hence it's extremely liquid. The daily volume of transactions on the stock market is not so big, but stocks are still reasonably available for trading. Shares of such big companies as Apple, Microsoft, and Google are called blue chips. They are also highly liquid because there are always a lot of investors who want to buy or sell them. However, when an investor chooses to acquire no-name stocks, liquidity plunges. In comparison with the currency market, stocks and commodities are believed to be less liquid. However, the liquidity level on these markets directly depends on a particular asset. For example, energies and precious metals are always more liquid than other assets. Volatility Volatility is the degree of variation of a trading price series over a particular period of time. The availability of the Forex market makes it very unstable. A huge number of transactions performed on this market may easily cause significant price fluctuations. When it comes to the stock market, prices here are more stable and can be easily tracked in course of time. However, volatility may increase during the earnings season and this immediately influences stock prices. As for the commodity market, volatility is a novelty here. First of all, it is connected with the influence of globalization and currency rates changes. Volatility here may increase when a new time cycle or a trend starts on the market. Leverage Trading with leverage allows to perform financial operations while possessing only a part of the required sum. Leveraged products, such as CFDs, can be used for margin trading on different types of markets. On Forex, leverage may be quite high, up to or over 1 to 500, depending on a broker. As for the commodity and stock markets, leverage is usually not higher than 120. Short positions. The opportunity to open short positions allows to speculate on both the falling and growing markets. Since trading on Forex implies buying one currency and selling the other, traders can always open sell orders. When investing in or trading stocks, traders can open long and short positions, however, there are some stocks that allow only long positions. When trading CFDs on stocks, short positions can be opened in almost all instruments. When it comes to the commodity market, traders can both buy and sell using futures. Which market to choose? When it comes to deciding what to trade, currencies, stocks, or commodities, there is no clear-cut answer. Each market has its advantages and disadvantages. As a rule, the commodity market is often marked with marathon trends, which are connected to the seasonal behavior of assets, and gold acts as an excellent safe haven asset during financial crises. Forex allows to enter and leave the market quickly thanks to high volatility and that's very convenient for short-term strategies. The stock market is not as volatile and has a lot of other distinctive features that are very good for long-term investments. The choice of a market depends on the risk level a trader can afford, as well as the investment goals they establish. 
Today we've discussed that the key difference between the currency, stock, and commodity markets is the assets that are traded there. Each market has its own unique features, and the choice of a market depends on your trading style and investment horizons. If you like the video and find it useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon to not miss new interesting videos. See you next time.